Hey fellow apes teachers, I've had this video idea in mind for a while. I kept telling myself I'd sit down and plan it out and make it really professional and everything. And it's just getting to the point here where the exam, you know, is two and a half months away, or few, you know, shorter than that if you're taking the early exam date. Um, so anyway, I wanted to run through five resources that I think are just absolutely critical coming down the home stretch, especially if you're a first or second year teacher and you're really struggling to cover content or just if you're a veteran who has fallen behind has lost time due to you know extreme weather in texas or obviously any other uh number of reasons you could be behind this year you know we can all think of a few i'm sure um resource number one is actually the facebook page i know this is kind of redundant because i'm going to share this on the facebook page but if you're on instagram or you're on youtube and you're seeing this you're an apes teacher and you're not in national apes teachers please send me a dm um, request to join this group. I'll talk to the admin, the moderators, make sure that you get in. Um, just a huge community that you need to be a part of, a part of if you're not already. Um, so yeah, resource number one. Resource number two, uh, I think of this more as what you would do with synchronous time. Um, although it could be asynchronous time if you're, if you're assigning these activities, um, is Christy Schertz uh, website, specifically her resources for each unit so she has just awesome tables here that are going to walk you through a ton of different oftentimes virtual options for labs articles basically i think of this as like extension this is how you take the basic content and extend it for students for some of us that's just not a reality so we are just looking to cover the content um, but if you are able to cover content and still get in extension pieces highly recommend christy's website um, she's a huge, you know, presence in the apes world. She's a veteran. So check it out. It's been really helpful for me this year. And, you know, especially down the stretch here, <clears throat> I'd really try to rely on this uh, for a lot of your activities. Um, shameless plug here for my own resources. I feel a little bit like goofy sharing them. I know a lot of people use them. Um, but anyway, they're basically eight to 15 minute videos where I just cover the bare essentials. They're not as good as the AP Daily videos from a standpoint of spiraling in skills and really giving students practice with the higher level thinking orders, um, higher order thinking. Um, I'm, this is my six year teaching apes and most of the people that do the AP Daily videos are more experienced than I am. They are objectively like better instructors with more knowledge and more experience. So I really like a blending of the two. Again, I introduce my students to the basic concepts of each unit with these videos, but then I also have them watch the AP Daily videos, uh, which just do an awesome job, again, of like building the skills that you need. Um, the teachers that make these videos, um, Katie Morris is one, um, Mr. V is another, you know, pretty much everybody that makes these videos are um, very experienced AP instructors. Um, they have really awesome ways to, like I said, spiral in the science skills. So I really think that both videos have purposes um, that are a little bit different and I see a mix of them being helpful for you, especially if you're behind and especially if you just have to cover content asynchronously. If you have to just, you know, rush through a unit, pick a unit that's a lower weighting on the exam, rush through that with a mix of AP Daily videos, a mix of my videos if you think they're helpful. Um, and I'll make sure there's an Edpuzzle link below as well because if you want Edpuzzle versions so you can see that your students have done them, if you want them to practice multiple choice or FRQ, you can check those out as well. The last resource is one um, that is probably more helpful for synchronous time. Uh, Science Outside is a company that produces case studies. Um, you do have to pay for them, but they're quite affordable. And the creators of the website here and the resource are also quite reasonable. So you can reach out to them with concerns if you want to test drive one. Um, I use them a lot to basically make the class more engaging. So they take AP environmental science concepts from numerous different units. And then students will read kind of a primer or an introduction, and then they'll discuss it in more depth and ask questions that really get at the FRQ style of writing and of thinking. So they're a really great resource for synchronous time. They're not really gonna work asynchronously. This is not something you wanna use um, to just cover content. But if you're on pace and you're looking for things that extend, again, the learning outside of the basic content, um, Christie's resource is great for covering labs, articles and such. Um, the science outside case study is awesome for getting students to talk to each other, to get engaged. Um, again, if that's something you feel like you can make happen this year, um, that is a great resource. Uh, disclaimer, I'm, I'm not part of science outside. I don't have any 
kickbacks or financial incentives if you use their case studies, um, but I have used them and I enjoy them. And uh, both of the creators are former science teachers. One of them is a current science teacher, um, Chris Klang. You know, he's got a lot of environmental science experience. So I highly recommend these, especially if you're looking to elevate your course um, engagement and discussion. My students have really got excited when they've discussed, especially, you know, beaver populations, the problems they can create for small communities, you know, looking at whether or not we should reintroduce mountain lions to different regions, like some of the most engaging discussion um, discussions that have unfolded with my students have been with science outside case study. So again, as a quick recap, if you're not in the Facebook group, uh, you probably are, but if you're not, you need to get in this. Um, send me a message, happy to help you get in. Christy's resources, awesome, awesome, awesome for extending the learning. So once students have covered the bare essentials, whether that's with your textbook, whether it's with your lectures, whether it's with my videos or AP Daily videos or a mix of all of those things, um, just a wealth of resources here for extending the content. Uh, my channel, same as my name, um, the Edpuzzle link will be shared as well if you prefer those. AP Daily videos, I really think blending them is a great idea. Um, I, I think if there's any limitation to the AP Daily videos, it's just that they are more as a supplement. Um, that I think that's what their intended purpose is. Um, they're phenomenal. Like I said, the instructors that make them are, are objectively better, more experienced ACE teachers than I am. So I certainly use them with my students. I see a place for both. Uh, and then again, Science Outside Case Studies, awesome way to foster more um, engaging discussion to just get students a little bit more excited. Um, and yeah, those are the five resources that I think could be huge down the stretch. If you're really trying to make up time, if you're feeling like you're drowning, if you're feeling like you have to stay up, um, until 1 a.m. every night, trying to create new resources or reinvent the wheel. This is just a crazy year, and I hate to see, you know, passionate teachers burning themselves out and going crazy, you know, pulling their hair out, trying to, you know, move mountains, so to speak here. Um, so reach out to these resources, rely on them, you know, take a deep breath, get a meditation app maybe, and um, yeah, Katie Morris, I, I want to give her one more shout out because her release the learning to the students mantra is very freeing and liberating and i think it's one of the only ways to preserve our sanity in this year so uh, katie thanks for your mantra release the learning to the students use a mix of these resources to do that and uh, just remember that we will be back to teaching uh, a more normal you know course structure at some point in the future so you know we need to weather the storm be the best we can be for our students this year but you know we can't run ourselves in the ground doing that so Rely on resources, rely on your friends, um, and I hope things go well for you guys down the stretch. Uh, you know, sending well wishes from Michigan. So hope everybody has a good weekend and good last couple of months of prep.